We're at Moira today, um, basically looking at the full consequences of a, an object being thrown at a moving vehicle. In the last few years, there's been a number of objects thrown at cars. Following this sort of incidence, there's always the a, a secondary impact that could happen, or if somebody's shocked by the impact, they could break sharp, cause a, a nasty accident on the motorway. <laughs> We've managed to effectively simulate a brick being thrown at a windscreen and to see what effect that had on the windscreen. Today we've looked at 60 miles an hour and 70 miles an hour. We showed that, that at the slightly lower speed of 60 miles an hour, although the actual uh, windscreen was severely damaged, we've actually seen that the, en the windscreens absorbed the energy that was being imparted into the brick and the bricks actually bounced over the top of the vehicle. With increasing the vehicle velocity to 70 miles an hour, we've actually seen that the brick's actually gone through the windscreen. The great thing that the windscreen's done is actually um, absorb that energy being imparted to the brick. So when it's actually passed through, it's taken all the energy out of the brick, so it's almost just dropped to the floor. If somebody's found guilty of this sort of incident, there's, uh, it carries seven years imprisonment and or the fine. Also, I just want to raise this as a road safety issue, bring it to the attention of drivers to make them more aware of what's happening above them as they're driving down the motorway and also highlight the issue to parents and their children to make them aware of the consequences of this sort of incident. If you'd like to find out more information you can go to autoclassnews.co.uk